Ada for insisting we get a paternity test before I sign the birth certificate? My girlfriend and I believe in E&M. We aren't saying it's right for everyone, but it works for us. I work in town and have several partners for when she is working. She works at a huge construction project on the West Coast and flies home for one week after working for two. Since the men outnumber the women there like 30-1, she has no problems finding partners. Recently, she has gotten pregnant. We are always careful and use protection, but I realize that isn't always 100% effective. I am excited for a baby and happy we are starting a family. However, I don't have any interest in paying to raise someone else's child. I told her that we need to get a paternity test. She said that I was the father. I said that was awesome. I just needed proof. She said no. I said that without proof, I wasn't signing the birth certificate and that I would be moving out so I could not be said to have acted as a parent. She thinks that because we are in a relationship, I need to step up. Like I said, I have no problem raising a child that isn't mine. I just won't pay for the privilege. Ida, how could you have this kind of relationship without having had a conversation about this already? OP is the kind of person who uses the acronym for an obscure sexual lifestyle in a post for a general audience without a hint of explanation. He doesn't give his actions a whole lot of forethought. Yeah, what ISENM? Too lazy to Google. Ethical non-monogamy. An open relationship. Watch. That's going to be the new acronym for new posts for the next couple of weeks. From all the copycat stories that will pop up on this very authentic subreddit. From the AI-generated stories that scrape this sub for ideas. Ada for having an AP whom I don't consider my so. My SDBX so and I are ENM. NSFW. Narrator's voice. It is in fact not working for them. I heard that so clearly. In Morgan Freeman's voice. Well, actually, the line is most popularly from Arrested Development, and the voice is Ron Howard. This is the only voice. There is a whole movement of people shouting from the rooftops that fexking other people works. And yet they constantly prove that it doesn't lol. Honestly, I knew a quadruple for people who had been living together for 20 years. That works, for some, very few. But the fact people think that they can just screw around without discussing every single terrible scenario that can result? Yikes. Pregnancy is not even remotely a far-fetched scenario FFS. How did they skip that convo? Relationships are hard. The vast majority don't work out. Adding more people to it, even only in a sexual way, can make things even more complicated. It can work, but it makes a hard thing even harder. For example, this post. It works for us doesn't fucking sound like it, my guy. How stupid do you have to be to say it works for us in this post? Well, I guess it works in a casual dating sense for them, but flakes at real commitment. That's how it always goes. Oh, that is gonna have me laughing for days. It works for us. Now pay no attention to everything else I am about to write. Just like all the posts where my partner is great, and then proceeds to explain the ways their partner is abusive. It works for us, but our relationship might be over, because we don't know who actually knocked her up man shrugging. Weird ass people doing weird ass things. Just be single if you want to fuck a bunch of people. Played stupid games. Won stupid prizes. I think it was working until she got pregnant, and the reality of the situation hit him. This should have been something previously discussed if they wanted to be on top of their shit. Getting pounded by multiple men and me pounding multiple women. Our relationship is great. Help she got pregnant, and is refusing a paternity tested give him the dad. Just a little hiccup here don't be mean. My girlfriend got railed by a bunch of construction workers on the west coast while I was fooling around in Philly, based on use of in town. Now there's a pregnancy and we're gonna break up, and the real loser is the kid, but it works y'all. The real losers are always the kids. Underrated comment. It's not fair to anyone including the baby for the father to be unknown. This got messy, but it works for them. What a day to have eyes and to be able to read. Honestly, this ain't the worst thing Eve seen here. Still fucking crazy though skull skull skull. He sounded like he had tears in his eyes when he was writing that shit like Stan writing him an M. This will be the last message I ever send your ass. I know you got the last two letter. I wrote the addresses on imperfect. Like I said, I have no problem raising a child that isn't mine. I just won't pay for the privilege. What do you think raising a kid means? Like you are going to play the dad, but not spend any of your own money on the kid? 
Clearly the two of you should have communicated more before agreeing on E&M. This should have been one of the topics discussed and agreed upon at the very start. I think it more references if he signs the birth certificate and then there's a breakup later on, he will still have to pay child support even if it's not his because he signed the certificate. To be clear, I don't know if this is how it works. I grew up with a single mom and I think I remember her saying something like this could happen a couple times throughout my childhood. Edit. Lameo, I don't know who it was, but someone apparently reached out to Reddit care team on my behalf, and honestly that's the funniest thing I've read all week. Thank you for being oh so concerned for me. Yeah, I guess if someone else is the biological dad, she could put him on the birth certificate, and then OP raises the baby as a stepdad. The bio dad could pay child support, and maybe have shared custody if he wants it. It's really not that radical of an idea considering how many step families there already are. But then would Opie be prepared to have the bio dad around for the child, shared custody with him, and him being there for the child's milestones, etc.? Op, I think we need more info on how exactly you'd like this to play out. I'm not arguing against that. But I am saying if he signs the birth certificate, and they break up later on head still be on the hook for child support, which in theory would not be fair to him, since it theoretically isn't his kid. Sorry I didn't phrase my comment clearly, but I meant the bio dad could pay child support. I was agreeing with you, basically. Oh yeah, that makes total sense and honestly would be the best course of action MO. Even if he doesn't sign, but takes care of the kid. Sometimes that's enough to get him. On the hook for child support? Clearly the two of you should have communicated more before agreeing on E&M. This should have been one of the topics discussed and agreed upon at the very start. Yup. This is outside of Ada's pay grade. Y'all both messed up and it could impact the future child who will suffer from y'all's lack of communication if you can't get on the same page. Her stance is arguably right. Your stance is arguably right. Ergo y'all needed to be on the same page on what happens if, when she gets pregnant. Will it be y'all's child or the bio parent's child? I would say you're NTA. But you've also got yourself into quite a mess here. I am excited for a baby and happy we are starting a family. However, I don't have any interest in paying to raise someone else's child. If your girlfriend is your primary partner, and you intend to stay together while having multiple other partners each, children should have been something you had talked about already. You assumed this risk, and now you're stuck dealing with the consequences. I still say NTA for asking for a paternity test when you're in a pre-established relationship that involves male partners other than you. But you need to work on your communication with your partner regardless. I don't know how ethical it is to not have established rules and expectations for one of the most obvious, predictable hiccups to E&M Bliss. I don't understand taking this type of risk without having a game plan for this very obvious consequence. White DA for that, but otherwise, your wife clearly sucks because she could be carrying another man's baby, and that dude has a right to know, too. This. Esh. He's not really the AH for asking for the test, but they both are for the situation around it. So now it isn't working. Chances of her or your girlfriend's getting pregnant was always there no matter what precautions were taken. You both had your fun. Now an innocent child is going to be caught in the middle. The baby didn't deserve this. You were both stupid to think that this could not happen. Doesn't matter whether you are the father or not this kid is screwed. Both are AHs. It works for us. Clearly isn't working for them. Give your head a shake bud. Esh. Ha 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 the problems of this lifestyle. You find out it's not yours? You're justified in fucking right off out of there, which you probably will. Which is why she doesn't want to take that chance, because there's a good chance it's not yours. Esh. e &M works out for Opie, but what interests me is that they haven't discussed the possibility of accidental pregnancy. Denial, denial, denial. Even if they were both on board with raising the kid, because they're not married that brings all kinds of potential complications. What if the bio father sues for custody? Really want to hinge you and your kid's life on Larry won't find out. He can't count backwards from nine. Then there's potential family medical histories. 23 and me tests later on. Just seems like they're begging for a fucking mess. It works until it doesn't. And it seems that it doesn't. There have been extensive studies of relationship durability for monogamous and non-monogamous relationships. They find significantly more fragility in non-monogamous relationships, but they don't know exactly why that is. For real, right? Like, holy shit. I'm in a non-monogamous relationship. My GF and I discussed what happens if she gets pregnant, mine or other, from the jump. Any regular sexual partner, 
GFFWB, anyone I'm sleeping with on a recurring basis, we have that conversation. I don't understand people not planning for the very obvious potential consequences of their actions. 100 points she knows there is a huge chance the relationship is cooked if he finds out he isn't the father. What's worse is he can walk off reasonable and scathed, and she will bear all the responsibility of single motherhood. Couldn't she make a list of potential partners and ask the courts to make them all test? I vaguely remember something like this happening before. Single parent, likely. But she should be able to get child support. NTA, your relationship isn't monogamous, so you're not implying any impropriety on her part. You're merely pointing out that neither of you can be 100% certain you're the father. So, a test is needed to find out. It would have been good had you settled this matter before she got pregnant, but there you are now. Good luck. If I were her, I'd do that paternity test to make sure the child really is his and would opt out of having another man's baby, if that's still an option. Birth control can fail. The fact she's so against it is as. Once paternity is established, if it's not OP, the genetic father can be found. If the genetic father is known, OP won't be accidentally on the hook and can still be there. It seems reasonable to me. I'm in an open relationship and if I fell pregnant, I'd want correct paternity established. If nothing else, the child deserves to know. This is why you fucking run from the E&M bullshit. The E is always optional. Please, for those in the dark. What does E&M stand for? Ethical non-monogamy. Everyone nuts and my girlfriend?